In security matters, all signs point to Russia. Military officials tell the Washington Post Russian hackers infiltrated an unclassified Pentagon email system last month. It's the latest in a series of spear phishing cyber attacks. Joining me with more is Aliyah Sternstein, senior correspondent for NextGov. Aliyah, let's start with the reported breach into an unclassified Joint Chiefs of Staff email system. What do we know about it? Not much, I understand. That's right. The Pentagon does not want to reveal too much information because of national security repercussions. What is known is that suspicious activity was detected on the joint staff network. It was isolated, taken offline so that the Defense Department could hunt for hackers, alleviate any damage and fortify defenses. That system is coming back online right now. Now, a few days later, the Department of Homeland Security told federal agencies to be on the lookout for malicious emails. The alert from U.S. CERT didn't include a lot of information. Tell us more. Uh, well, it was a very broad warning about malicious emails that take computer users at agencies and companies to websites that look like their own agency website or corporate website, when in fact these websites uh, can either upload uh, software that steals information from these computer users or disrupts the network and the fish uh, the, the warning from the Homeland Security Department did not specify what these websites look like or what the emails look like it just said there are three different kinds of spear phishing campaigns out there be very careful about the emails you receive and make sure when you are entering information onto a website, it has the correct web address uh, for your agency or company. Researchers trace these latest attacks to Russia. Why would they target the, the Pentagon? Well, there are some military tensions going on in the Ukraine. Russia's not happy about sanctions that the United States and the EU have put upon Russia because of its aggression in, for example, Crimea, and Russia might want to be privy to some of the intelligence that the Pentagon has on it right now. That's true, or just raising hell, or all of the above, right? Exactly. Yeah. Who knows? Create a problem, get some intelligence, and make life difficult for us as we do for them. Now, in some cases, Russian hackers aren't even all that creative. They used common malware called Trojans to crack a White House network recently. We've talked about that. That's pretty scary. What are Trojans? Uh, malware that looks innocuous, like it looks like a, a regular attachment file. And when it is executed, it does really bad stuff and it allows the hacker to come back into a network after it's been deposited. And uh, that is how hackers allegedly were able to jimmy open the networks at the White House and at Health Insure Anthem and then unload a whole bunch of other scary spyware and stuff that extracted all the information that we've heard about in the news with uh, the uh, social security numbers and whatnot. So getting back to the Pentagon, how do you think they're going to respond? Uh, that no one in my industry is supposed to know, but they have a lot of different tools at their disposal. Uh, they can respond uh, through more sanctions. They can choose to respond in a uh, military manner. They could do their own cyber espionage or destructive uh, malware could be unleashed upon the country. They have to determine what a proportional response is. All right, we'll stay on top of the story. Aliyah Sternstein, senior correspondent for NextGov. Thanks, Aliyah.